Welcome back to the Coins and Connections podcast, where we explore all things books, business, and bullshit. My favorite bees. I'm your host, the Fairy Coin Mother, Sinquanta Cocksmith of www.sinquantacocksmith.com. Now let's get into today's episode. Hey guys, welcome back to the Coins and Connections podcast, episode 151. It has been some weeks. <laughs> And let me just say, there's something that my friend sent me. Let me see how long ago it was on August 31st. And I'm going to play it for you guys. And hopefully it does resonate with you or you can hear it well. But after I started saying this, probably even before, life has just been super crazy. So to the point where I had not had time to record a podcast. I had not had time to actually sit down, create a video and edit. And I'm just like looking for these small pockets and moments to do the things that I do love because I do miss it. And the biggest thing about me is showing up. I never want to feel like I'm too busy to do what I love or to bring the type of content that I enjoy. Listen to this. And I hope it helps you on this Friday. I saw a video a couple weeks ago. And it was this girl and she was talking about this affirmation that she says, and it's so simple. I started saying it. And when I say that my life has changed, my life has changed, my life has changed everything. The affirmation, show me how good it can get. Show me how good it can get. You just give it up and you put it out there and it's like, show me how good it can get. Trust me, I've told all my friends. Just trust me. Show me the experience that I long for. I'm big on affirmations. And if you guys don't know, I do have an affirmation deck. It's called Manifest Those Coins. I'll leave a link to the manifestation cards in my description for this podcast. I clearly don't know what to talk about because as I'm recording, I have a meeting in about an hour and a half. I'm sitting here recording a podcast, trying to edit some YouTube content, and then also be able to edit this podcast episode so we can go live tomorrow. And it seems like life has been life for a while. Are we in a retrograde or what? (laughs) It's the first day of fall, so I'm looking for the change of the weather. I'm looking for things that I can commit to. I'm not in a space where I'm just saying yes to everything. It has to make sense. And because my time is limited right now, I just can't take on anything, project, collaboration, or anything that is going to cause me stress. I get enough in my daily life. Yeah, I don't need it. So I have learned to say no. I have learned to just stand firm on what I believe in. I had this huge wholesale order. And because I was going to make a lot of money from it, it scared me. Like, I I wanted to give them a discount. Like, it scared the crap out of me. Oh my gosh, this is way too much money. Why would somebody give me this much money? And that fear, that doubt, that anxiety creeps in so bad and so fast that you don't even realize it's happening. Thank God I have a great support system. It was like, no, stay, stay, stay firm on your price. And what's so funny, I'm glad I did because my Etsy shop has a discount code right now. And when a certain order of over $35, they get free shipping. I was providing free shipping anyway. And then I was thinking, oh, they are spending so much money. Now, let me tell y'all where it got crazy at. So let me finish this part. I was like, oh, they're spending so much money. Now, what I did not factor in is that the discount code in my shop would automatically apply to their order. So... Imagine my surprise when a $1,400 order comes down to $1,300. And it's not bad, but it's like, ooh, I missed out on some. Imagine if I would have discounted the price. Like, imagine if I would have made it cheaper. I would have really missed out on more money. Luckily, the client did notice that the discount applied automatically, and she wanted to make sure that she paid the full amount. Again, God sent. Thank you. God. Thank you for being honest, because honestly, when I saw it, I was devastated. I was like, oh my gosh, it took away from what I was going to make with this order. But I just, I'm just glad that there's really great people 
<laughs> out in the world. So she did pay the difference of what the discount took off. But of course, still going through Etsy, they have their own fees. That got ate up from that. But it was also to the point where I was like, oh, I'm going to provide a free product as well. I put my foot in my mouth because I provided it. But I had coupons, so it wasn't too expensive. But just the gratitude and the gratefulness that I received from this client has been amazing. They're excited about the order. They're excited about the free gifts that they are received, and they're just excited to celebrate an event. Even though there was some downfalls in that, the lesson in that is just to stand firm and what you decide. Stay firm on your price. Stay firm on where you stand in life, on, on what you do. Not everyone's going to agree. Honestly, I've been in business for a long time, but that does not mean I, I don't doubt what I can do. I don't doubt why I'm here. And that's just like what my YouTube channel and my podcast like, I've been doing these things for so long. Like, I've been on YouTube consistently, off and on, since 2014. Before that, I was on since 2007-ish. But my channel has grown super slow. I did not get paid right away. It's just so many different factors. I still record from my phone a lot, even though I now have a camera. I still record from my phone. I don't have a lot of fancy technology. I do judge the quality of my work because I'm not an editor and I don't, I'm learning these things as I go. So it's still not perfect. But at the same time, I do feel that my gradual growth is better than fast growth because I could have made so many more mistakes growing super fast that I don't have a chance, that I didn't have a chance to learn these lessons of how to accurately post, how to just keep up the engagement on your channel just so many different things. And then in this podcast space, which is being infiltrated, let's say that, by celebrities currently, because one, they already have a platform. Two, they are having big podcast producers and production companies back them. So the quality is different. They're in studios and not at home on their couch recording from a mic from Amazon on their HP laptop while watching TV. <laughs> okay, did you catch that? And they have that giant of marketing behind them where you can hear an ad for their show. Now, I have a little bit have a little bit of experience, but honestly, I'm still doing this by myself. I don't know, but I, I did tell you guys that I did close my LLC down in January of this year. So I'm pretty much a sole proprietor. But even with that, I have had so many opportunities this year. Some that I was able to talk about and some that I was not. I don't even think I've got a chance to tell you guys that I am part of Descript Sounding Board. It is a job that I do get paid for to try out the new products, get to see the new features, and just to give feedback to their team to make Descript better, which I'm actually recording my vocals right now through the audio portion of Descript. And that's kind of what I only use to edit now. Every now and then I'll do something on my phone with video shop or cut something down that I want to add in. But I primarily use Descript to video edit, record, and audio for the podcast. Talked about it before in, an, in a podcast episode. So that link is also in my description box. But yeah, I'm a one woman show and it'll probably be like that for a while just because I probably won't reestablish my business until we move again as far as as far as moving like with the military. Until I know that we're permanent someplace. And it's just because I don't think y'all understand how hard it is to move an LLC from state to state. You got to sign up as a foreign LLC. Like it, it's just a lot. So to save me from not having to sign up for tax this in Texas and then whatever other state, it's just so much like mind blowing. I know I'm all over the place, but yeah. So I'm going to be a one woman show and I'm just solely focusing on podcasts, YouTube channel, collaborations and collabs. And then also some exciting news. I'm going to be on Awkward Style Masters Academy. I'll be teaching about Etsy and ways that you can create a blind print on demand site and do a little bit of niche research. So I'm excited about, yeah, that is happening. They announced it on their Instagram page. I've been working with so many brands, but I have been sleeping better because of Skullcap and Lavender. Yeah. So 
I have really just been out the way and in my bag. I think I'll name ep this episode out the way in my bag plus show me how good it gets. So I hope you guys enjoy hearing my voice. It's been a minute. I know these episodes have been more lifestyle and not a lot of teaching. I'm getting back to that. Just give me a week. The fourth quarter should be plentiful, stressful, lovely, and abundant for you all and for me. So don't forget, show me how good it can get. Thank you so much for listening and subscribing to the Coins and Connections podcast. Don't forget to leave a review and join the conversation over on Facebook and Instagram using the hashtag Coins and Connections. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Smith and at Coins and Connections. You can shop all merch at www.coinsandconnections.com. I love you more than I love this podcast. Peace.